I don't read the paper given to me, but I just got went through it on the table, which Dr. Talavelli had very kindly left. Of the various schemes, the prism scheme, the promotion, innovation, and individual startups, SMAC, the patent acquisition, the pay scheme, the, the, the CRD, DHSS, and all these schemes. And of course, the women for women access to knowledge for technology development dissemination. Science, now picking up just that much from this 10 pages. Now, as far as the women's scheme is concerned, I think science streams in India have also established the role of women in a leadership format rather than as participants. So we are the first. Where there is space, we have women heads of directors, where is it CSIR, whether these are schemes. And if you see, if you just try to look back at all those examples that I gave to you, the aroma mission, the vaccine, the space, one common feature would be what is relevant to the audience that we have over here and what I think Dr. Saraswat was trying to retreat again and again in his own evidence-based manner. And that is a strong industry linkage. And that also indicates what I have been saying for the last two years. And I was kept asking myself whether I was going overboard as speaking more than I'm expected to, because mostly the chief guest of the ministry is expected to light the lamp and say goody, 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 and get off and not try to be, you know, distributing what he thinks about. But you realize the aroma mission succeeded because from day one, they were not only doing hand holding, but they had already linked up with the perfume industry. Dr. Rama Vishwakarma began that initiative and it carried on. And the result was that even before that product was in hand, it was selling, you know, like hotcakes. And it became infectiously, you know, went around along among the peers. And we have about 3,000 of those startups just within a few years, two years or three years. Now, if you have the DNA vaccine, it's because the industry was already waiting for you to come out of with the vaccine. So you didn't have to look for it. It's just that we happened to be the first and we were the early bird beneficiaries. Similarly, if you look at space, when Chandrayaan happened, Prime Minister Modi had already liberated the space sector from all those taboos. And the result was that there was a huge investment happening. The first lot of startups, now we have almost 190 beginning from single digit. The first lot have already turned into entrepreneurs. So I think without being skeptic, without feeling embarrassed, without feeling uh, small about talking in the language of the businessmen, I would again strongly reiterate that if we have a strong linkage of industry right from the beginning, we are able to make the industry, the market requirement, a stakeholder right from the beginning, that would also spell out success for our scientific endeavors, also for our startups. I was talking to a group of students the other day. I said, after all, at the end of the 10, 15 years, in the beginning, of course, you may have that, you know, esteem and pride of coming out with something very glorious, something new, and everybody, you know, tries to glorify you. Oh, you come out with this, they come out with this, and you think you are now in the same league as maybe Newton or Galileo. But after 15 years, when you find one of your high school classmates driving down in that big, big car, I don't even know the names, and you still trying to pretend that you are a Galileo or a Newton, you will say, hell to me all this. What have I done in my life? Because after all, we are children of the same society. So we can't have a different set of values as far as our life is concerned. So in order to make it compatible with all the other factors, or in other words, you can say notwithstanding other factors, we have to grow. We have to have a strong market linkage so that it becomes commercially viable and commercially viable in a good way for a good cause. And to that extent, I think there should be no harm even maybe this thought is still evolving. One day we can allow the market to do the mapping. Like vaccine demand was there and we came out with the vaccine. But that is because COVID had happened. COVID had done the mapping of the market. 
This mapping could be done in an institutionalized manner. Here, the, the virus did the mapping. Virus did the mapping and found that there was nothing to kill it. And therefore, we started. So, sometimes we could allow the industry to tell us what actually is their requirement, what is actually the kind of takers that you have. And we could design our projects accordingly. We could ask the industry also to invest right from the beginning. And then also take charge of those boys and girls who are engaged in their project. So that at the end of the project, they don't find themselves out of job. And certainly if industry would have invested in the terms of money, they would try to own them. You would feel that if I spend so much, let, let me not let go of this boy or a girl. Let me extract my pound of flesh or flesh of pound, whichever way. So I think while we observe, because the relevance of saying this today on this platform is, that the Department of <coughs> Science, Industrial Research, DSIR, is actually expected to translate, design, formulate, create policies and create strategies which would help us achieve this effective translation, which would be of benefit to the common people. At the same time, also raise our capacities to invest in further projects. So I think with that, thank you very much.